Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Dave Higgins. Welcome to Sandbox Explorer. All right, so since the launch of the Switch, we've had access to online, but just under a year ago, we had the Nintendo Switch online service actually go live that we had to pay 20 bucks a year, which 20 bucks a year is not bad compared to, you know, PlayStation and Xbox, you're paying like triple that basically. The key difference though is that for PlayStation and Xbox, their online is actually good. Now, I mean, the fact that you can play online for Nintendo is fine. It works for certain games like Splatoon, but the voice chat is almost non-existent. It's a terrible implementation. You use it on the phone. Um, at least you can do it, but it doesn't really make any logical sense. It's not like Nintendo designed this whole new intuitive experience of being able to chat with people online. It's been around for a while. It's already been, for the most part, pretty perfected. So, eh, unfortunately, that's not the good news for the Nintendo Switch online service that I have in this video today. It's something else. It's a good thing though, it's a step in the right direction. For PlayStation and Xbox, when you have their online service, they give you free games every month, which is pretty awesome. You get AAA quality titles sometimes, not always, but often enough, more than never, <laughs> like with Nintendo, you get this many. Technically, yeah, you get NES titles, but like, come on. Some NES titles are good ones. I like Excite Bike and a couple other ones, but for the most part, I never open that application. Like, I don't know, it's, it's not really that interesting. It's not that enticing of an extra service. It's cool, they don't have to offer an extra service, but since the competition does, then you, you know, usually when you wanna be on the edge like Nintendo likes to do, you usually try to offer some things that the competition at least does, if not a little bit better. So they're kinda under that, which is unlike them, but at the same time, it's not because they don't keep up with everything. Like, you know, the graphics are not their priority. <laughs> They've gotten better for sure. We finally have HD, 1080p, 720p, depending on what you're playing. So that's also good. But anyways, the Nintendo Switch online service now, at least for this current month, I don't know if it's gonna be a program that they're gonna continue doing past this. If it's successful, then they probably will. In fact, part of the reason why this is actually being implemented is because Tetris 99 was successful, so they're looking for other ways to use the Nintendo Switch online service to, you know, get games out there for people to play and entice them to spend money. <laughs> Nintendo announced a game trial service that it's not called that outside of the UK, I believe, but it's a game trial service. Depending on which region you're from, you have access to different titles. From August 5th to August 11th, if you're from Japan, you have access to a first party title, Captain Toad's Treasure Tracker. In that time period, you can play the game from start to end if you can manage it. If you can beat it in that time period, then you can have played the entire game for free. Well, for the cost of having Nintendo Switch Online, which if you signed up through Twitch Prime, then you got for free. So you can technically have it totally for free. Now, I'm not sure if Japan's getting the same deal as Europe and the US are, but if they are, then they're gonna get some sort of discount on the game during that time period, maybe shortly after. So if you do end up liking the game, then you get to buy it for a discounted price, potentially in Japan. This holds true in Europe and the US, but if you're from those two regions, US right here, you get access to Mario Tennis Aces from August 7th to August 13th. So same deal as Japan. I mean, for Mario Tennis Aces, there's been a bunch of demos you can play for the weekend and play a little bit of the game and this and that, but you can play the entire game. So if you can play through the whole game and beat it, then again, you don't have to buy it, I guess, but you can try it out and see if it's a game that you actually want to buy. I personally was not entirely certain if I wanted to get Tennis Aces just because I know that a lot of people really like it, but it was never like really appealing to me, but I'm definitely gonna download it and try it out, see how I feel about it, because if you do download it during that time period and you decide that you wanna buy it, then for that week and the following week till the 20th, you can get 30% off of the game. So instead of spending 60 bucks for the game, you spend like 40 bucks, that's a pretty good discount. This is a promotion that Nintendo's doing that I think is a good step in the right direction. I don't know if this is something that they're gonna do regularly. Up till now, they have not really offered too much to compete with the competition, it's been, subpar in comparison, you get to have access to AAA titles, multiple AAA titles in a month sometimes for PlayStation and Xbox. You get to keep indefinitely, or at least for the longevity of you having their subscription service. So it's definitely good for Nintendo to be offering something like this to their subscribers because I mean, in order to keep people on your service, you definitely want to give them incentives to do so. And like I said, their online's really not so great. Uh, it works, but you don't have the ability to have party chat. You can't talk to people through the system. Uh, 
but offering access to titles like this is at least something that will give people a chance to try games out that they maybe were thinking about getting, but they didn't wanna definitely spend the money, and offering a discount on it as well during that time period shortly after is definitely a good move, because like I said, I wasn't so certain about getting Mario Tennis Aces, but for 40 bucks, if I end up liking it, I might pick it up. I'm at least considering picking it up where before I kind of fell off my radar. It'd be pretty cool if they started offering free games every month. I mean, I don't expect them to give us, you know, like Breath of the Wild and stuff like that, but I mean, I don't know, may maybe? But if they gave away a free indie game every month, you know, like Hollow Knight, Golf Story, Stardew Valley, anything like that, that'd be really cool because those are some really good games and they've been out for a while. I mean, I already have those games, so I'd be like, nah, but for people who don't have them, that'd be pretty cool to be able to get access to those titles for free just for having the online service. But that's not what they're doing. I'm just, you know, throwing it out there that that's something that would be pretty cool for Nintendo to do. But I really do like this Game Trials promotion. It's definitely a ray of sunshine on an otherwise kind of gloomy online service. Like I said, Mario Tennis Aces isn't something that was like first on my list, but if something pops up, a game that I've been really interested in but I haven't bought yet, that'd be really cool to be able to not only try it out and make sure that I do want to buy it, but get a discount on it as well. So at the time of filming, this is the day before it starts. I don't know if I'm gonna get this out tonight. It's kind of late and I'm intending to do it. So if I got it out, great. So if you didn't know about it and you see this on the day that I launched it, then you have like a whole week to download it and try it out. And then you have a whole week after that to buy it for 40 bucks. If Nintendo gives news about other games like this coming to, you know, game trials, offering you the chance to download the game and try out the entire game unrestricted for a week or however long they decide to, then I will let you know. <laughs> Keep your eyes peeled on this channel, download Mario Tennis Aces, and give it a shot. Let me know how you feel about it. I'm gonna download it and I'll make a video about it to let you know my opinions on it, and yeah. Also, before the end of this video, I just wanted to mention that I'm gonna be at the Boston Fan Expo on August 18th with my buddy from Game Stance. So if you're heading out there, look for me, come find me, we can chat. I'm gonna take some pictures maybe, make a little video that I'll upload onto here about my experience there, and if you find me then, you might be able to make it onto my channel. I've never actually gone to one of these before. I've thought about it, I've almost gone, but it just hasn't happened. So now that I have this channel going, I really wanna make an effort to get out there and meet some people, see what they're all about, see what it's all about. So yeah, if you're going, let me know. And we'll meet up and hang out. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one.